Welcome to another DDR special. These are all high intensity and or game management plays that received immediate attention. In this first play, we will see that the game is tied, and this is potentially the last shot of the game. In these types of plays, everybody should have an opinion of this play. In this league, this is not a reviewable play through the monitor. You can only review for timing to see if there was any time left. As we will see here, our center slot has the perfect open look angle. As he can see between the cylinder of the ball and the arm wrist positioning of the player. The trail has a closed look as he is looking from behind the hand to the ball to the cylinder and the lead should widen out after the initial drive. As we further break this down, we will see that part of the ball was still over the cylinder. The wrist is straight and almost bent forward and in very close proximity to the cylinder, which is an indicator, as we've discussed before, that this is a basket interference play. We also listed the NC2A men's rule book and penalty. This was an NCI for basket interference. In this next game management plan, we will talk about how if we don't manage these games properly, the play will escalate into something that we may not be able to manage later on. The offensive player makes a great play to the basket, but then he decides to taunt the defensive player. As we further break this down, we will see that we ha could have an offensive foul as well. As we watch his left arm, he extends it out, displaces the defender, elbow to wrist, not allowing him to play defense, followed by the taunt. Now, if we call the offensive foul, do we think that that could have deterred the taunt? Possibly. But regardless, our center slot comes in and correctly manages the play by assessing a technical foul. This next game management play has to deal with a lot of parts. As we watch the play live, we deal with a rotation, an offensive back down, a flop, a leg whip, and then an irate coach that's on the floor. Every league manages their games and their situations differently. So let's just break this down step by step to see what we have. We have a good rotation by our lead. As the ball comes into the post for the start of the back down. This is our only action area all over the floor. Our lead is in good open look position of his PCA. Watch the defensive player's footwork. When a defender is playing proper defense, his heels are up. As we will see now, his heels are down on the floor which is an indicator to us that he's ready to flop or eject early and then become illegal when he's on the floor. So any contact that occurs on the floor is a blocking foul. The offensive player sees the opening and continues through. Our lead has his eyes up on the basket instead of on the floor where the contact occurs. If we call a blocking foul in this play, this may deter the next play, which is the leg whip. This is unnecessary by the offensive player. This should have been a technical foul.